Welcome to the C++ program tutorial. Um, what we're going to look at today is friend functions. Now, we know that we have public, private and protected access modifiers in a class. And the class is meant to be um, like encapsulated, that's encapsulation, an object of the, of the intended programming. So the security attached to it, a class it's meant to be a prototype or something, like if it's a prototype of me, it would be like a prototype of a man. It would ha have hands, arms, legs, body, um, eyes, nose, mouth, etc, hair, and whatever else, fingers, nails, right, I would have all these things. Now, that would be like nouns, that would be like attributes, things that don't change. You can multiply them but they will all be the same. A table, no matter what way a table is, it's a table. Um, if it doesn't function as a table then it's no longer a table. And so then there's things that, that nouns do. It's like a man can walk, he can sleep, he can talk, he can, he can read the newspaper, he can surf the internet, he can go to YouTube, he can work sorts of things they can go on holiday um, so that's things that they can do that's do things that's verbs a verb is an action and so that's methods that's data members as well methods but they do things so they do things with the attributes the data members the variables and so a friend function do something with the data members in a class, um, even if they're private, public or protected. So it's not very secure, um, I don't know how we'll be able to justify it or use it, but it's part of C++ um, programming. And so it's something that you've got to learn. If you're doing a course and they ask you that, that a program they want friend functions on it, so you can access the, the private members from outside the class before using a get and set method. We've done get and set. A get and set method is much better, I, I would say, secure. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to look at how to do a, a friend method. And it's a keyword friend. So what I'm going to do is create a class just to demonstrate. And Friendship class, ship, that's chip. Friendship class. Uh, so click OK, finish. And so now we've got a header and we've got our we've got our like source file. And that's a construct and deconstructed to be implemented. So this is a class and what we want is private member. It's going to be private, so we're going to be like uh, secret number, so it's going to be an integer. Right, so that's a data member and it's a noun, attribute, whatever you want to call it. Right, this is going to be a number, and nobody knows what this number is because it's an object oriented program, it's a secret. Right, but there's a friend, and the friend knows, because the friend has been told of the, this, the members of this class. And so you use the keyword, you use the keyword like friend. And so now what you're saying is that this is going to be a method, and it's going to be a friendly method. So it knows everything that's going on in this class, so it can use um, the data members, just as if it was a member, but though this is declared inside the class as a signature, it's not a member. It's actually not a member of the class. And so what you do is you give it a name. So um, I don't know what to call it. And 
also has a return type and we're going to void so that's us declared the that's like the signature and so that's us saying oh this is a friend and um, inside it's got to be inside the, the class a friend outside it would be like global would it make sense and I think it'd be an error and so now what we've got to do is define the code for this um, also the reason why you can use it is because you pass the object this class is an object data type and we can make an instance of it but we're going to pass the object instance of this class to the friend and so we're going to go friend Just go with see, and so that's us past the object uh, whole class to this method so we can access it. So if we go to the friendship class source and we'll make we don't use the friend keyword not anymore, it's already been declared as a friend in the signature. So we're going to give it a name. So all we need to do is void. Is I forget so um, close friend and it takes that's an argument and so now we can put some code in it. So we can go fc dot um, what was the name of the secret number? And we can print it out. So it's created the, the defined the friend, and now someone can gain access um, to to this class, that data member that we've gave access to, which is private from main. And so what we'll do is we'll make we'll make an instance of friendship class, and we'll call that FC, and now. What we can do is we can call. I had some problems, so so just made changes. It didn't include the class friendship class, the one we created. And what else was it? And let me see. Go over here. Yeah, that small case. Um, right, I wrote it. Small case, and when made the signature, I accidentally put a capital S so it wouldn't give access and so what else it I because because I'm doing C alt what I've done is I put include an alt string using namespace std and so all we needed to do was create an, create an instance of object class um, FC to access so all we've done is called the, 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 the friend method and passed it the object of FC and if we run the program yes right, and you can see it's 192 it's returned for that secret number because we didn't actually we didn't actually give it a number we just declared it but we didn't actually assign a number and so we do that in the constructor in the constructor we went off of constructors and so if we do secret number equals 70 save Run the program, and you can 
see number 70. So, so we've faxed the private member. This is private, so we cannot get access to a private member from outside the class unless we use get and set method. But C++, because of its history and it comes from C, and procedural damage, um, sequential damage sort of thing, and before object oriented programming, um, it still has things in it like friendship, I think that's what, I don't know, I think that's where it's came from. Um, so you can use a friend to get access to uh, a method to a private member. I don't know if it's good or bad or something like that, I don't know what you would use it for. But what's suggested is, is that I've got a menu there in the input, right? The menu is printing something to the screen asking for the data from the user, and user types and the data, and there's two different classes. You could add a friend for that, that the menu's got a friend where it asks you uh, um, for a name, and the friend one straight after it asks for the input, and you input it, you could use it that way, but I don't know. Um, so that's all you do. What you do is the friend keyword in front of a method. This is not part of this class, it's a friend for a method. And then you, you declare, you define, implement it. Um, we could have changed the number. So we've printed that out and we could easily go fc dot um, secret number equals 43 and if we save and run the program seventy we've not printed it to screen yet so if we do C alt um, and secret number save compile and once this finished there we will run program oh there's something wrong here see out secret number is not right oh, fc fc dot sorry about that that's a secret number compile got to save the program and you can see um, it's 70 to start off with we changed it to 43 then we printed it out so so that was like the get method and this is like the set method it's a different way of doing it but it's less secure but you can just as easy do set and get methods so that's uh, the friend method in C++ so again thank you for your time